So my first experience with NRS was getting a life jacket from them when I first started to kayak fish, but I started to look online for a dry bag, something that I could put like electronics in, my tackle. I had a boat bag, but it had a lot of organization in it, but it wasn't waterproof. I wanted a waterproof solution for my tackle and my electronics specifically. Now I've had this NRS Expedition duffel for about a year. So this is a long-term review for me and I use this bag at least once a week, sometimes more like twice a week. This is an excellent, excellent bag. It's simple, not a lot of organization like my older boat bag, but keeping your stuff dry and keeping carrying as a gear hauler, it's a great bag. This is a 35 liter bag. They have them in different sizes. I think they make a 35 and then they make a 70 and I'm not sure if they, they might even make a 100 liter bag. This one is only three pounds. So it's a really light bag for 35 liters. And what you'll see when you, when you kind of look at the bag, it's heat, it's like a heat treatment that they put on this bag, built-in sections to keep all the seams tight and the, the, the the material on the outside is a really heavy, what do they call it, a 21 ounce tuba tex. I gotta tell you, it feels like almost like uh, like what they make the rubber boats out of. <laughs> you know, like you see rubber boats or dinghies made out of. That's this, that, this is that material, it's very heavy duty. Let me walk you kind of through some of the features. You got your NRS logo right here up in the front, and then you have some daisy chain loops. Like if you wanted to attach some things, like sandals, you know, scuba fins. This is a perfect bag for like scuba equipment, fishing, uh, kayaking, anything that you wanna keep your stuff dry, it's a perfect bag. So it's perfect for the summer right now. You even have some like aluminum D-rings up here. I'm glad they used aluminum. The webbing itself that they use on the outside of the bag is very heavy duty. I just have this carabiner clipped on the outside. Sometimes I get my shoes wet or something like a jacket wet and I don't wanna necessarily put it in the inside of the bag. The, the webbing for the grab handles is excellent. I got a lot of stuff in there, this bag is heavy. So it's almost like a two inch wide piece of webbing. And what I like about it is it runs the entire length of the bag. So the whole bag is supported underneath, you know, so you get that a, a good equal load distribution and you know that this is not gonna like pop or, or snag or break. So that's an excellent thing. On the sides, you have big chunky grab handles on the sides and they're sewn in. And then you get that heat seal again around the edges. These, these grab handles are great for pulling it out of the side of my boat, pulling it out of my truck. So this thing goes everywhere with me. Big chunky grab handles, got a little Velcro, uh, you know, keeper that keeps both wrap, grab handles together. And you might notice these straps. This, let me open this up. So it does have compression. So that's <laughs> a really unique thing that you don't usually see on a lot of duffel bags. So if you got, you have these G hooks right here. So you kind of hook them in these little slots and then you can compress the load down and i have it fully you know kind of uh closed so you can see like the air is being trapped inside of it so i'll undo these and the key what makes it waterproof is this zipper and they call it a tie zip zipper right here in the front it's got really big rubber teeth and it's got the chunky <laughs> zipper so tie zip so the main thing is you gotta zip it all the way down to this like little u-shaped opening or yeah at the end so that once you get it all the way down and pull it tight now it's waterproof you can you can submerge this bag it was probably pop up because there's air trapped inside but I've hosed it down, I've put it in water, I've got caught in the rain, thunderstorms, everything. It's set in my boat and have water on the floor. Yeah, no water gets into this bag. The, the actual shoulder strap, if I had a complaint about this bag, I would say I would have liked to seen like a shoulder strap pad on this because this bag being 35 liters can get heavy. So the clips on the shoulder strap are plastic, but the hardware on side of the bag is metal. So if the clips fail on this bag, you can replace them with a different shoulder strap. I could just buy a separate pad and put it on this bag, 
but I really wish they would have just continued that aluminum hardware on the shoulder strap. That would have been really, really nice. But let's get inside of the bag so I can kind of show you all of that it can hold. There's really, yeah, so let's get inside. Pull this, it's a great zipper sound, see that? <laughs> this is like a number, I don't know what size zipper this is. It's probably like a number 12. It's larger than a number 10. It might be like a 14 or a 16, whatever. It's, it's a huge zipper. So you unzip this thing and I have my jacket. I'm just gonna throw all the stuff in the floor, right? I have my jacket in here. I got my cheapo uh, Walmart lantern that I always keep with me. I have my head unit for my uh, sounder. This is a Garmin uh, 93 SV, so it has side view. Uh, I need to get some of those money bags, the, the, the money, the, the waterproof money bags, but I have all my soft plastics in and just this regular gallon bag for fishing. And then I have some hard lures in this one and bug spray, because why not? I have all my, you know, floral, leader, mono, braid, all of that is in that bag. Some floats, bobbers, indicators, whatever you want to say. He uh, these are these are some uh, sunglasses, another little light by Olight. I have this knife in there just for, just in case. Some extra batteries for my trolling motor controller. Some, <laughs> some uh, jig heads. This is the trolling motor controller, Minn Kota. This is the power drive with the 80 pound thrust controller and then i'll have my uh damn what is this the tribute mini storm box right here that's just from, for some music on the go but i'm still going some waterproof gloves for the bigger fish and yeah that's that's it in the inside it's not lined or anything in the inside it's just a big open cavity in any inside of this bag. So if you're looking for some organization, you're gonna have to do it yourself. So you guys already know, wouldn't be one of my reviews if we didn't talk about the price of the bag, of course, right? So the price on this bag is 264. You could actually get, you know, some coupons, like <laughs> you find some coupons for like REI carries it, Backcountry carries it. But NRS stuff, I am sold. This is like a long-term review. I beat this bag up. A lot of fishing trips, North Carolina, Delaware, uh, all the way up to New York, all the way down to like Alabama. So I'm all the way up and down the East Coast, plus like bass fishing so and saltwater fishing. And this bag's been with me and I take a lot of trips. So this bag has been with me the whole time. I don't have a single hole in the bag. So it's been great. It's very, very rugged. Like this is not everyday carry, but yeah, this this is damn near weekly carry for me right here. This is a bag that's been very reliable. So I wanted to share it with you guys. But that's it guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you love the content, subscribe to the channel because it's totally damn free guys. If you got a question, leave it down in there in the comments and I'll try to get back to you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.